Hello, welcome to Switch Tester's installation and maintenance guide. So this is a web page for the GitHub repo for the Switch Tester application. So these are some installation steps here listed in the readme file. So the great thing about this is that if you ever lose access to this video, you can just go back and read the readme. It's pretty self-explanatory how to basically install our application. But I'll go ahead and do a quick walk through of these steps. So you'll need a couple of prerequisites worked out. So the first thing you'll need is some virtualization software like VirtualBox or VMware or anything like that. And you'll also need the MiniNet virtual machine image. So you can download both of these things looking at the MiniNet setup guide. And you'll also need OF test interview, which are basically the two testing frameworks used in our application. So let's go to this mainnet setup guide just so we can see how that looks like. So you'll scroll down to option one, which is basically the mainnet virtual machine installation. So this virtual machine is basically the machine in which you'll develop and do most of your testing. So the first thing you'll do is download the mainnet virtual machine image. So this will take you to a GitHub web page where you can select the appropriate image depending on your platform. So although my architecture is 64-bit, I had to download the 32-bit version just because it says that it's recommended for Windows users uh, using VirtualBox or Hyper-V. And I am indeed using VirtualBox as my virtualization software. So you can see that they also recommend VirtualBox here on the internet web page. And then you'll run through the VM setup notes to basically tell you how to uh, import the virtual machine image into your virtualization system. And then there's a walkthrough here on some basic commands uh, for minute. So you'll do something like open up your virtualization uh, software and you'll do something with the file, import a client, locate the path of the virtual machine image that you just downloaded, and it'll ask you some configuration most likely. Um, if not, then it'll show the virtual machine here and then you'll, you can click on the machine and press show this will basically show a console um, as if you're actually connected to the machine and i prefer to use an ssh client like putty for example just because uh, i'm not too much of a fan of the uh, console that comes with virtualbox but it doesn't matter you should be able to do anything just fine using the console provided with you, a virtualization system. So now that we have the internet virtual machine as well as the virtualization software, we'll go ahead and download all of the test and view. So to clone the all of test get repo, you're basically going to run this command that you're in your internet virtual machine. And you're going to clone this to your Windows. And then for view, you're basically going to do the same thing with this uh, link to the Git. And then you're going to navigate to the uh, Ryu directory in your home directory, and then run this command here, python setup.py install. It's basically going to install all the dependencies that you're going to. Now, for our actual application, once you've got all these things installed, so I can actually show you that I have more tests installed on my virtual machine. So here you can see more tests here. And if you go into all the tests, you'll see some some files here. Notably, the most important ones are the auth script as well as the run switch Python script. Here. So I'm not running most of these clone commands simply because I already have the dependencies installed. But for our actual application, once you get these prerequisites in order, you need to clone the switch tester git repo. So you'll go ahead and do that with this. So you'll also append the tilde character in the forward slash to clone it into your home directory if this is something that you want to do. And then you'll pull the develop branch with git pull origin develop or the switch tester branch with git pull origin switch tester. So basically they both have the switch tester application. So depending on which branch you're going to be working on, um, you can pull either develop or switch tester. 
So I'll go ahead and show that that I have that downloaded. So I actually cloned mine in the senior garage directory. So going back to the guide here, you'll see it says to uh, navigate to this learning open flow directory. That's basically the directory of the Git repo. So I've already pulled the source tester branch. And as you can notice, I have some, some files here. So the next command you run is Python setup apply uh, install. So do something like sudo Python setup setup.py install, and it'll basically install the dependencies. Uh, let me go ahead and try to run that. I wonder if I will get any. Uh, probably got a message that says that I've already installed this. Uh, yeah, so I got some results here. But either way, I should have all the dependencies installed, but you'll get either something like this or something simple. And if you have a permission to hide error, run with sudo or as root. So then, uh, one kind of thing, important thing about the source tester application is that you need to copy the root directory of source tester to your home directory. This is because there are some certain assumptions that OF test uses certain assumptions that OF test makes and which that it kind of relies for OF test to run the home directory. So you'll go ahead and run this command, which is basically going to move the switch tester directory to your home directory. So here you can see this, let's clear the screen. So here you can see the switch tester directory. This is basically what you're going to be moving to your home directory, or you could copy it. And if you want to do some developing and you want to eventually push to get Basically, you have to copy your change files from the source tester directory, your home directory, into back, back into this git repo, and then from the git uh, commit and a git push subsequently. And if you want to change some of the source code, you can go ahead and do that in whatever text editor you're comfortable with. Since this is a Linux machine, uh, you'd have to use something like Emacs or then, for example, uh, I personally use Emacs. I think that's already installed with the default virtual uh, mainnet virtual machine. So if you want to edit, for example, if you wanted to edit, edit for example, this Python script called source tester, Emacs, source tester, and you basically just uh, change any of the source code here. 